You know, like Sherbo, and Tim touched on this, he hasn't had to change a whole lot in his routine. Shannon's in very much the same position. She hasn't made too many changes because last year, her beam routine far exceeded the difficulty requirements that she needed in Barcelona. There's her first combination skill. Beautifully done. Now, she didn't have trouble with that in last night's competition. She is really a master on this apparatus very clean, very specific in all her movements. Now, Dan, she must be thinking about it right now because this is the skill that gave her some problems yesterday. Back handspring, two layouts. Interesting. She was supposed to throw a third layout. She chose not to do it. That was the one that she actually fell on. Now, that move she just did is a D element, so she's going for a little more bonus. I think after talking to Steve Nuno yesterday, her routine was only scored out of a 9.90, so not a 10-0 like we expect from Shannon Miller. So she's going for it all. Again, another D element. It will give her a bonus, because it was done in combination. It's sort of a lot to digest right now, and I'm sure as we see more and more gymnastic events throughout the year, we'll get used to hearing about some of these new changes. So far, she has been flawless. Now, coming up, it will be the only E element we've seen thus far in the competition. She's planning to do a full twisting double back. Can she stick it? Oh. Oh, that was a beautiful set. Beautiful set. Okay. And quite a jump. Quite a jump. <laughs>